Hey gang, Toadie here. This is episode two of Dermanport, our modded City Skylines adventure. Behind me, you are seeing some cheeky, sped up early game detailing that was done during episode 1.5, and then goes into a first person walkthrough of those new areas, which is my favorite thing, the first person camera. But we have things to do today, so let's go. <laughs> Our first order of business today is to acknowledge this comment from Peanut and this comment from Tempest, also known as Phil. Peanut would like this area to be named Guntberg. Phil would like this area to be named Guntville. For anyone out there who may not be aware, Gunt is my spouse. He hangs around in Discord and in live streams as Dr. Gunt. So he is the Gunt and this area will now be Guntvilleberg. We don't have any policies yet that would make sense to put in there, so we will leave that as it is. So thank you, Phil. Thank you, Peanut, for bringing my spouse into the low density area that will be coming very soon. First, let's just look at what we saw happening in episode 1.5. I know you saw it in like the intro flyby, but there's a couple spots to zoom in on. We have this big statue obelisk boy here. We have this area that I finally tidied up and I actually kind of like the houses are a little bit nicer. We've got, of course, the Paradox Plaza in the middle. And if we come down here, we've got this pathway that leads to the selfie statue. It's a great little statue. We did a wee bit of detailing here, not too awful much. And we did this park here. So again, not too much detailing, but at least something that looks not too shabby, if I do say so myself. But enough about what has already been done. During my time spent detailing, I did have the game running. And so we've got a good amount of money to play with. Let's see if we can spend it all today. I don't know. I'm I'm thinking it's probably possible. I want to look at where the farming is. So there's farming all up in here and down here. So that will be great for the industry area that I want to cook up. What I think we're going to do is we're going to come off of this roundabout and we're going to go over this train track. So I'm going to, for now, use the medium industry road. And just what does it do if I try to go vanilla -ly here? Can I please? That looks, you know, that's fine to start with. We will very much make that nicer soon. But what I think we can do here is actually bring this industry road parallel with these uh, train tracks so that they can be used to export the industry later. So I'm just going to go off of that to get the 90 degree, right? From there, how do we want it to look? I think I'm going to do a 90 like this. So why don't we grab this and this? Tell me that's 90. It's pretty darn close. If we go like this instead. Beautiful. We delete, we delete. Come back and take our freeform road. And I'll make it fairly big, I guess. That's going to be too many, isn't it? Let's go here. 12, 12. And then we can do this. Love it. We will delete that because that will eventually be where the cargo export station train boy goes. <laughs> I always forget. And I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to end this road, but for now, I'm going to bring it over here. That's going to be a future us problem. Over this way, though, is where I want to really start getting the industry happening. So what I think we may do is we are going to grab some of these trees here and get rid of them and we'll make this line of trees look a little bit more natural uh soon enough but for now i just want to discard some of these trees that i don't want to be here and we are going to do our favorite thing oh that's that size and <laughs> we're just gonna cheat a little bit more farmland in I love painting my own resources in this game. Feels good. Perfect. So that will be our industry area. Let's get it painted in. Always forget how to do this. <laughs> Just my brain being funky. This, of course, will be a much nicer looking area soon, like we did over here. Oh, look at this. Have you guys ever had this with your city where the text goes all sort of Minecraft enchantment table? 
If you want to fix it, just type something in there, delete it, and press enter. You may not even need to type something, I just do, but that will fix it on your map. Coming back, Oak Complex, that's not what that's going to be called. For the most part, I name my districts after people who are supporting me as a YouTube member for one Canadian dollar or any amount over on my Patreon. So we have a YouTube member, Lee. We're going to name this farming area Lee Acres. Lee, thank you for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. I hope that you have been enjoying the videos that I've been putting out. And that goes for everybody. I hope everybody is enjoying. So we've got Lee Acres for the farming district, but we need some roads, don't we? We have a road layout. We have pipes under the roads. Very nice. Very nice. And we have demand for not industry. I think that's okay though. I think it would be smart to at least get it started over here. So we're going to put this main farm building. Honestly, I just want it to be nice and tucked in over this way, like overlooking the train tracks, right? And we have Lee Acres reaching level one. We worked so hard to get there, didn't we? The following buildings have been unlocked. Excellent. So I think it would be best to get at least a couple of the farming buildings in here just to get some produce happening, you know, starting to get working on the numbers. I just want to get rid of the traffic lights. The rest of the traffic we could do the giveaways for, but that's a later problem. We also need to tidy up this bridge, fix this roundabout. There is so much to do. So let's just get a couple of farms down, small crop fields and an animal pasture. I think these small ones are gonna fit up here really nice. I would normally be maybe more concerned about watching my money, but um, this is fine. We're gonna just kind of go for it. Let's change the appearance of a couple of these. Looks kind of neat, at least a little bit random. As we put in more fields, we'll probably make them more similar in clumps, right? And then we will, oh my goodness, I've lost it already. We will put down a small animal pasture. I don't know, let's put it over here. We'll do three. And what would we like these guys to be? Let's do cows, pigs, and sheep. The three Minecraft animals. And they're going to be cranky for a little bit because they won't have crops quite yet, but that will eventually get there. And you know what? We might as well throw in at least one silo on either side just to have it started. And we're going to leave that. Lee Acres will level up with that. I'm sure that's enough. It's going to be losing money for a little bit. That is okay. With that, why don't we be really cheeky and why don't we delete all of that industry there and just say goodbye, pollutative industry. I don't want you here. Sorry. Bye bye. And we will come over this way, which is where we're going to focus next. All right, Gunfieldberg, it is time for you to have a few people living inside you. That's always fun. We are going to use these PNW buildings from gray flame and then we're going to use i think some of these are intended for east coast housing that's what the ech is i think they'll work by 220 hertz and in here we are actually just going to space them out a bit now this one looks a little different so i'm going to leave it on its own over there and we're going to do the whole thing where when you live out there in the boons you don't live immediately next door to your neighbors do you you just kind of have your own little plot of land. This one looks so tiny too. Where can Goldie live? I'm tempted to put Goldie on the other side of Res Grande, but we won't. We'll put Goldie over here on the corner, I guess. And we're just going to fill this in. Have these guys move on in. I will do a couple on the inside of these rows as well, but maybe not quite as many just to give them a little bit of space. I'm not going to do any on this main road here. I think that's going to be all commercial. These East Coast housing ones we will throw over this way to kind of give them their own little area, I guess. So it's like the same builder came in 
um, and built on this road and maybe this road as well. Cool. And then we'll put one last P and W over here. We'll do this little guy. Oh no, let's do, let's do a bigger one. Here we go. Now, if we click on low density commercial, I'm leaving the PNW in there. There is some of these low density commercials that look like they really fit in. So a pub, hello, yes, put that on the corner. What is this? I don't know what that is, but we're gonna build it. And then whatever this one is, there is our commercial. So if we take a look at this area now, without any detailing at all, at least all the houses kind of look like they fit in with each other, right? So we definitely need to get some trees in here. We need, we need a lot of stuff in here. But first, we need this to stop happening. Gang, we are still so early in the series and I have so many plans for this city. I am absolutely stoked. So this is your chance. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet and you want to see the city grow, please do subscribe now. I hope you're enjoying. This is the roundabout for now. We do need to, I'm wondering how do I feel about this? This isn't the worst. It is a pretty steep little hill there, but I don't think it's the worst, but we need to decorate the inside of the roundabout first, of course, and we need to do the walking and the bike paths all around, but we're gonna come over this way. And remember how I de-zoned this? Well, I forgot the settings for Ryko do not allow for those to despawn. So we're actually just going to get rid of them all. Gosh, I really do want to get rid of them all. Let's get rid of this many. I've done that on an angle and we'll get rid of these guys. Let them kind of be. Oh, and immediately, <laughs> immediately all the farmers come over to Lee Acres and we've reached level two. So we get the flour mill bakery and all this cool stuff. So I guess that means we need to sit tight on Lee Acres. We're still gonna, we're still gonna sit tight there, let them do their thing. Because look at this need for residential that we have. We need to fill that. Now, I think it is high time that we get some people moving in and living on the wrong side of the train tracks. So let me just get this down for the 90 degree and let's do, yeah, let's go like this. Now, this road that we're using is not going to be the final road. I'm waiting for the big suburban roads to unlock, which are at 4,800 people is that right yeah so i'm waiting for them to unlock to rezone everything as those types of roads but for now this will do and i'm wondering how do we get in and out on and off i guess of this main road i think we're gonna do a cheeky one-way system even though one ways aren't usually my bag nobody tell golf house but we will. So this connection is going to be dropped. That won't be there for much longer. We're going to do a one way down here and a one way up, let's say here. And we will let that exist. From there, why don't we actually grab another one way road? I don't usually do the one way thing, but it might be fun to just do something new for a change. I don't know about you guys, but I find that I at least feel like I am always doing the same thing, right? So we're going to, I just, I realized that this train track isn't perfectly along and I don't want to just change the train track. That just doesn't feel in the spirit of things, you know? So why don't we take this and bring it as parallel to the train track as realistically possible and then we will do this. There's our one-way road. We'll have kind of like some more, I think I've got like a couple derelict buildings that have been abandoned. Uh, we'll do another asphalt road. <laughs> Shout out to everyone calling me out on saying both asphalt and Ryko. I'm so glad that you guys are here. Honestly, it does, it makes me smile. And then over here, 
How do we want this to kind of like end? I'm tempted to bring that road up here, to be honest, but then I think everyone will use that as a shortcut and that's not what I want. So from here, we will actually just do this and we will bring this road out and about. Maybe we do a little bit of this, press home to bring it up to the right height. And then what does it look like if we go 16, 19, 19, 85, 88. That's pretty close. That's not too shabby. We can figure that out. I've of course got prop and tree anarchy on because I'm a pro City Skylines player. Over here, we will let this road continue out. I actually think we can probably get rid of all of this. Let's just do it now. Let's just do it. Say that we're sorry. We're very sorry. Those must be services maybe. What are you? Oh, they're not services. I lied to you. Let's get rid of this all. And we will have this road carry on. Let's do our water pipes. Let's tidy up these trees. I think I'm just going to delete them. Goodbye, sorry. And what is this? That just is a little bumpy. That is no longer bumpy. We need some people to live here, don't we? And we have people living here. I think it is high time that we actually do some prettification on video. I mean, I guess it's only episode two and we sort of did some the last episode, but you guys, you, you need to see this. <laughs> so this area, we're gonna make this pretty wooded. I guess it'll feel as dense as this maybe, but there's more houses in here, I don't know. So I'm just gonna show you what I do with the trees. I've got like a line of trees here. They're just in, I don't know, they look good together. I don't know any of the science between if these trees actually belong together or not. And to be honest, I don't really mind. And I am just going to bring together, I call it like a little bit of a palette that I will be copy pastaing soon. And I just kind of scooch them in amongst each other. We also need a bush in here or like, you know, those, I don't have the filler bushes downloaded because they, I always went to them, but yeah, like we need one of these clusters in here to fill up the ground area a little bit. Maybe another cluster, get some variety, neat. And then the fun part. So I like to make sure that prop and tree anarchy is off. I grab the trees and I just kind of start copy pastaing. Now, this big tree, I want it to be a little bit more of a, what do you call it? A highlight tree? Uh, spe you know, less often. <laughs> there is a word for what I'm trying to say, but it is not going to my mind. And so I will just avoid copying it for a little bit. But I just kind of grab like different areas of the trees to make sure that I'm not copy pasting the same thing over and over again so that it doesn't look too patterned and I just bring it all around. As you get more placed down, you can copy more at once and kind of do the thing. With the prop and tree anarchy off, you can place them on your roads and they wouldn't show up. Now, eventually, sometimes you might get concerned about hitting your tree limit or that sort of thing, or even lag, and you can then delete them from your roads, but that's up to you. Play style, you guys know the drill. Let's do a little bit more of this. Uh, now see, I've got two of those big trees in there. So I'm just going to get rid of them in my copy. Yes, I think, I think we're on the right track. And I know that there's forest brush. I know that there's other ways of doing the tree placement. I really like this way because then it doesn't feel like the trees are perfectly spaced out. You've got kind of some clumps that are working together or working against each other and it just provides some more variety rather than 
the way that I find forest brush does it is it really spaces things out evenly. So we've got trees, that's good. I'm intentionally leaving the area around the round boot uh, blank. We now need rocks. And like Donkey says, <laughs> that's a nice boulder. I think for this area, we could use, let's zoom in and see which colors are the best here. I think it's gonna be these arid ones because these are too dark and these are too brown, almost orange, eh? So what's our last option? Monaco, also a little too brown. So we will stick with the arid. Now I am going to remember to turn prop and tree anarchy back on and then I'm going to place some boulders so that it doesn't erase the trees as I go through. And the last thing to do in here, at least for now, nature-wise, is to take some of this undergrowth and put it in. So there's a couple of these that I prefer to use. Yes, these ones here. It just kind of makes the grass texture on the ground a little bit more broken up. And I'm just gonna place it in a few places. And the complement to that would be to grab this grass decal. I actually had to go and download this because I hadn't put it in my original 5,000 assets and it's a must for me. I love this little decal. I wish that there was more like it because I find that I use it so much, it's hard to make it look like it's not a pattern or not, you know, just this giant grass decal. So if you have your own favorite decals that serve this function of just breaking up the grass pattern on the ground, I beg you, please let me know what they are in the comments below. I've only so far been able to find ones that are like manicured lawns and uh, I'm not a fan. I want something more like this. And with a wee little flyby, you can see how much this area has improved from something so simple, right? Now that we've done this, here comes the big cheat. So I think these rocks are buildings, right? They are. And then these little, the grass decals are decals. What are these? Are they props? They're props. And so we can grab all of this. I think we want a fairly narrow, oh, we're gonna turn prop and tree anarchy off first. We can grab all of this and come back down this way and look at how cheaty we can be. Super cheaty. Now, this these uh, prop things on the ground, maybe actually we just don't include them. Maybe we get them out of here and we put in our we put in a smaller version later. That sounds like a much better idea, doesn't it? So grab all of those, get them out of there. But if we do the buildings for the rocks, the trees and the decals, let's grab a different section. Again, just uh, enabling that variety, right? Do some of this, a little bit of that, turn it around, do a little bit of a thing and then we start grabbing, right, but the buildings are there. That's a whole thing. So let's get rid of the actual buildings and rolling down this street, you can see how easy that was to, I will admit some of those rocks may have gone like inside the houses and I may have had to just kind of get them out of there, but it was still a pretty easy process. We can see that there is a quite a demand for industry. So Lee Acres here, get ready. We are going to get some more buildings down. We have unlocked the farm workers barracks and I kind of like the idea of them being all along here with the main building that we did. So that's not the right type. Let's put the industry stuff all over this way too. This zone will be tidied up by the next episode that I promise you. And we can probably put down a couple of these, couldn't we? Let's do, what, what's their benefit again? They increase the work efficiency. Cool, let's do as many as will fit kind of nicely. Of course, I have prop and tree anarchy on because what were we just doing? Working with prop and tree anarchy. I just PO'd those. Oh no, I just PO'd those. Oh guys, I just turned them into, I just press control P. Oh, I don't even know what to do. <laughs> Anyways, we'll delete them. That was a big fail. I tried to do uh, shift P to turn prop and tree anarchy off and then I failed. But 
we managed to get the upgrade to Lee Acres in first, so that's kind of cool. Now we have these in here. I wouldn't mind them being better lined up. What I think might be best here is just to grab it all and bring it all up like that. Yeah, that is going to be necessary. And then we can smooth out the landscape much better. Now we've unlocked, because we just hit level three, we've unlocked some bigger farm areas, haven't we? Yes, we have the medium crop field and the medium tree fruit field. We've got a couple like factory things as well as a better storage. So these barns would make sense over here by the animals, right? At least the one there. I don't see any reason not to put a couple silos over here as well. Let's put the cattle shed and the milking parlor over here too maybe what we'll do is we will grab the road and do a little offset from it so why don't we just do this um we will leave that like that for a second which one's the larger one definitely this right milking parlor we're going to do that with it and then we're going to do that grab the road again and just go around in a square i think that looks kind of neat we'll get rid of this Wonderful, and we can put something in here. Maybe we put in more storage. I'm going to put down four silos, and we might as well. What are these producing? They're producing animal products, right? And so is all of this. Don't these warehouses, don't they um, store animal products? Isn't that one of the options? I'm going to take, yeah, let's put it there. And balanced is fine. Animal products, just to have something being stored. I I think that warehouse will be fine. Once we get some more buildings around, maybe that'll make a little bit more sense. And then coming back over here, we are going to put down the medium size fields. What I'm going to do just for aesthetics is I'm going to move these two over this way and we will put, I've already messed that up, but that's okay. We'll put that guy there. <laughs> I'm going to redo this again. I am being so sufficient with my money. We're gonna put down one more there and one more medium one here. These are all potatoes, cool. Let's make this one all wheat and then we can change these all to wheat as well. So this is starting to look a little bit more, I, I guess realistic is the word. I don't know if I want to use that word in my videos. It's a big scary word. But then over here, let's put that that way. We will move these across. We will move these across. Again, I'm obviously being the absolutely most efficient with my money. And we'll put another medium one there and another small one there. This is all oranges. I feel like having one bit of apples beside the oranges is fine. But here, let's make these all pears. That looks pretty neat. And what I think we can do is do oranges and then have these two be apples. Yes, I'm loving that. Looking at the infographic here, we certainly have enough workers to reach the next level. We just need more resources, which will probably happen by the next episode. And this is the great reminder that this area needs services. I will do that in between episodes. This has been so much fun to record. I hope you are enjoying this city as much as I am. Of course, if this video made you smile at any time, please do give the video a thumbs up. Gang, on screen, there is a video where I share 11 tips about the Find It mod, as well as one secret Move It mod tip. Be sure to click on that video next, gang. I will catch you next time.